Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Paul Gerasi, fencing master with the USFCA and the International Academy of Arms here at the 2022 Ascalon Sword Festival. We are about to see the gold medal bout for the Division I men's foil competition. On the left, we have Kaya Cesar from the Brooklyn Bridge Fencing Club. And on the right, we have Jackson Sullivan from Mo Fencing Club. And in the booth with me, I have my learned colleague, Dr. Joseph Streb, five-time national champion and 16-time world team member. How are we doing, Joe? I'm doing just fine. How are you, Maestro Jirasi? We're doing great here, and we had a really exciting women's foil bout. Now we're about to see the men's foil in Division 1A. Sullivan on the right, Cesar on the left, and Sullivan with the direct attack that lands. There were, I think, roughly 90 people in this event uh, today, so these fencers have been fencing for quite a while to get to this point. Mr. Cesar left-handed with a big reach, but uh, Mr. Sullivan with the... Preparation by Cesar yeah, there allows like Sullivan preparation. I don't think there was blade control on that. Ooh. Cesar misses with the first one, then renews, gets the touch. Cesar using his reach there with a big long flick attack. It was parried. And Mr. Sullivan off target. I had an opportunity to watch Mr. Cesar uh, earlier today, and he tends to finish in that high line with straight attacks or a flick to the chest. And that time he picked up the blade, but his attack was no. Mr. Sullivan gets the touch. Kaya Cesar being left handed will favor that pronated flick to the chest. Sullivan with the uh, long straight attack uh, over the arm, but it's short, but avoids getting hit with the counter. Sullivan tries to flick attack to the chest and then goes for a counter attack. But Cesar with the off target. And Sullivan taking black, I think, taking back, I think he had a little bit of blade control there and was able to finish. That nice pair of posts by him, actually. Sullivan careful with the footwork here. Small footwork and then finishes with a type of angulated finish. Gets the point on it. I haven't seen Mr. Cesar be behind by four touches all day, so let's see what he does. Well, awesome. he uses it. He uses that reach is what he does. It's a nice long attack that he made. He set that up with a nice feint to the inside and finished. Mr. Sullivan with the attack into preparation. Both fencers prepared. Mr. Sullivan gets off with a direct quick attack, and he did it again. I don't know what he's... Uh, seeing maybe seeing mr Cesar drop his point and that's what's uh i think it looks like that's what he's doing on the last three it looks like Cesar has started something but sullivan can smell it and goes right into it and arrests it and this mm -hmm. time a counter attack backing up by sullivan taking a 9-2 lead well that's a significant lead and a remise of the attack lands off target I think Cesar's looking for, uh, well, at this point, he's just being defensive, oh. and he gets hit with a, an attack uh, by Cesar, which is just a long, long reach attack. Yeah, Sullivan put up that point in line. Cesar beat it and went to the body. Our fencing official sees that as uh, the initial attack being short. Attack arrives from the right. Sullivan, a seven-touch lead. He can do pretty much what he wants here. He picked up the blade, he tried to finish, he was short, and he tried to get greedy and hit, get a one light on the remise, it didn't work. Cesar coming forward, let's see what he does with his big reach. He goes under the arm, but uh, he started a little too soon with that. There's the repost, but the repost misses, and, and Sullivan's able misses. to finish. Yes. And he does that repost with the flick, but it, it lands flat, it doesn't score. And now the attack by Kaya Cesar scores his fifth touch. 
Long attack. It's parried. Sullivan on the march. There he goes. Attack is off target. That was interesting. Mr. Sullivan trying a, a running attack. Yeah. And this is finishing off target under the arm. I mean, he's got the idea. He needs to get some blade control coming forward. Both fencers try to flick to the chest. Both are unsuccessful. There's a parry repost. And the repost is off target. Long attack is off target. Cesar's down six points, but it feels like he's still in this. It, it does feel that way, uh, based on the, the recent actions, it seems that way. But Mr. Sullivan's trying to change things up a little bit. He was being defensive, and now he's going to come forward a little more, try to change the tempo. To me, that looked like attack no, and then counterattack off target. Yeah, and I think that's what the judge that's says how as well. It seemed. Oh, a long attack. attack. It's off target. Not really direct. He started with preparation on it and comes back into that line. There he goes direct into that line. He's had success with that earlier in the bout. And there's the riposte to the chest. That's what Cesar's been trying to get all about. He definitely likes that uh, flicking action, either on an attack or on a riposte. And there's Cesar scores two in a row. It's 7 to 11. Cesar, the attack into preparation. I mean, Mr. Sullivan was basically standing, bouncing up and down, and hadn't really committed. Well, Joe, Although, I think they want to check the replay on yeah, this one. Yeah, they're checking the replay on it. It's uh, a close call. Jackson Sullivan has asked for a replay. Let's see what happens. Looks like the call is going to stand. Score is 11 fencing 7. Long attack, no counter attack off target. Yeah, in, in fencing like in other sports, it takes a lot to overturn a referee's call. Mr. Sullivan just missed that time, went past uh, on the back, and Mr. Cesar picks up a counter attack. Just what he needs. Eight fencing 11. And with one second left, with one second left. Similar action there to Mr. Yeah. Sullivan tried that earlier and got the same result where he went into that Flicking position, did the flick, it was short, they tried to remise off of it, and neither time has it worked. Right, right. Well, you know, earlier we said, you know, it felt like he was still in this, like Cesar was still in this game. Um, but now it's a two-point game. Now he really is in this game, isn't he? Yes, he's very much in it. Two touches is, uh, oh, is something that can be overcome in foil uh, fairly, I won't say easily, but it, it can yeah. definitely be overcome. Especially because this is just the first break, isn't it? We yes, have two more periods. Lots, Lots of time. time. And, uh, you know, Mr. Cesar, patient, and, you know, he has that, that big reach, and he is left-handed. And uh, oftentimes uh, that, that gives the fencer something of an advantage. Well, if you were Kaya Cesar's coach, what would you tell him to do? If I was who's coach? If, if you were Kaya Cesar's coach, what would you tell him to do? Cesar, uh, I would tell him to, to keep doing what he's doing, coming forward to look for blade control before he finishes. And when he's going back, uh, just use the reach, you know, make sure he has to finish from distance so that you have an opportunity to, you know, retreat and pick up the pair of post. And that's really pretty much what he's been doing recently, and I think he should just continue on with that. All right, well, we're going to get back to the action here. The second period is about to start. It is nine fencing 11. Kaya Cesar on the left. Jackson Sullivan on the right. And there's a repost from Sullivan to start this period, 12-9. And that was Mr. Cesar doing what he shouldn't have done, coming forward and not getting blade control before he finished, and then he got pair reposted. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan with the uh, repost. Mr. Sullivan is being defensive now. Once he got that three-touch lead back, he did become more defensive. That was a beautiful repost to the chest. Cesar just couldn't finish that repost. Makes the attack. He's short, Sullivan, off target. 
and a preparation. Mr. Cesar, yeah. Mr. Cesar picked up the blade, but then he did one more preparation than he needed to do at that distance, and it cost him. 14-9. If Sullivan gets one more point, he'll win the gold medal. That was Ooh. an interesting angulated repost there. I think Mr. Sullivan's just going to uh, look for an easy counter here. And he's got it. He got it. He's got it. And Jackson Sullivan is our Division 1A men's foil champion.